Hi, I'm Kirsten Kelly. Patreon is a crowdfunding website that helps fund these videos. Thank you so much to all my patrons who already support me. If you'd like to join them, please check out my website, Kirsten Kelly Equestrian, or look in the description of this video. Today's video is about giving you some tips and some solutions to improve your position over a fence. It is super important, you need to have a strong lower leg, you need to have an engaged strong core and a strong neck so that every single fence you feel like you are able to keep your balance so your horse isn't worrying about whether you're flopping around on top, he knows he can focus on doing a good quality jump over the jump because you're sitting up there balanced and secure in your position. So the best advice I can give you for improving your jumping position is that the legs hold you on, that's what keeps you safe, but the engagement and the strength of your core keeps you balanced and your head being up. Now, the exercises to strengthen up your leg position are easy. Everybody knows about two point. Well, if you don't, you should do. So two point is where you hover above the saddle. So we go up and there's no holding the mane. You're allowed to grab the mane to find your balance point, but then you've got to let it go. Because when you hold on to the mane, you're not really engaging your core. What I want you to do is think about pulling your belly button to your spine so that it helps keep your center nice and strong. The lower leg, Claudia's got a great lower leg anyway. You can see how she's got good flexion down into her heel. If you haven't, you need to grill yourself in two point. You need to get this feeling. This is what stops her from falling off because all of the body's weight is traveled down into the lower leg and into the heel. If you find your legs slide back, the way to fix that is by turning the toe out slightly because then it, it anchors the heel around the horse's side. Okay, whereas if you do this, sometimes you're more likely to slide the leg back. So if you see photos of yourself looking like this, Fix it by turning the toe out slightly and getting your angle in there, okay? And it also, by turning the toe out, softens your knee that little bit, so you get this feeling of, of flexible folding around the horse's side. You can sit down like so your legs aren't aching for a sec. The other thing is that when you think about the strength and engagement of your core, one thing which makes all the difference is your chin being up. Now, I read an article the other day which was actually about reading and texting and being on your computer, and it showed the weight of your head when, when it's in different positions. And it weighs about six kgs when it's held normally. And then when you start doing this, at this point it goes up to 25 kgs. So a bag of horse feed, basically. So you think about it, if you're over a fence and you keep your chin up as you fold over the fence, it keeps this feeling of all of your body being stacked up and strong. But when you do this over the top of the fence, it rounds through your back here, and then it makes your legs not work properly, and your whole position will go to the go to the pack. So if you can think about keeping this poise in your chin, what it does is it keeps the shoulders open, it keeps the core engaged, and then it keeps your balance. So the leg is important, but it's about this needs to be just as important as keeping your chin up so that it keeps this head weighing 6 kgs, not a big sack of, sack of spuds that's going to pull you over the front of the horse. The other thing for your position is that when you jump over the fence, I want you just to pretend now that you're folding forward as if you're jumping a jump. With the hand, if you just do the crest release to the point of the crest and then soften into your elbow a little, Perfect. You can see there that as the as the horse jumps, Claudia can pause for a touch, you know, so she feels like she balances on that crest and then she pushes off it and comes back to her normal position. So that, that way there the horse is always guaranteed that the rider is going to be balanced over the fence and the hand is going to touch here and then his mouth is going to be nice and, um, and, and free. Good. And the hand is carried. There you go. Good girl. So I'm happy for the rider to be either in two point or to sit, whatever feels the most comfortable on your horse. 
soft hand, good girl. So just remember that the only way to improve your jumping position is to jump. So get out there and practice. But also, whenever you take the horse out and do some hill work or paddock riding, get up in your two point. Make sure you do at least three sessions a week because what that does is it creates that strength in your ankles and your balance and then you'll, you'll just feel so much more confident when you're actually cantering over the jumps. You need to have an independent hand so that the horse feels confident to jump without you getting left behind. So we need to have you really strong in your leg, really balanced with your upper body, mentally on the game so you really can canter down and trust what you see. So get in there and practice that two point and lots and lots of rails on the ground so mentally and physically you are able to do the job.